train. Are you holding civilians hostage? Oh my god, we get to talk! Some ten people, children among them, are huddled together in fear. You see, half of them have black holes where their eyes used to be. Some maintain a gloomy silence. Others are wailing. Several armed insurgents are carefully watching over the terrified hostages, snapping every now and then at someone for shaking too much or crying too loudly. I was late to arrive. Oh god, that's bad. Elderly citizen. Come to your senses, Erelid. Look at what you're doing to your own family. A woman about 60, gray-haired but still strong, is kneeling before the stocky man with a thick, pure white beard, stretching arms out toward him. Take pity on us. Let us go. I'm assuming it's that guy. Fanatical old man. Yep. Stop talking and embrace redemption. Our children have gained true sight while you still believe the lie. Upon seeing you, the man points his weapon at you. Other insurgents do the same. Who are you and why are you here? Need to do this part first and see how it changes. Um, I imagine, I, I would imagine that it allows you to save the people from the dark fate, but it makes getting the navigator shit harder, right? Like you probably get there and she's dead or something, right? You know what I mean? Or you get to the prison and, cause I arrived there late as well. I'm not sure what late means because time doesn't seem to work in the game like normal. So I'm assuming it means I did this mission before that mission kind of deal. Because I seriously doubt if I just put it around the solar system for five hours and then d did a mission, it would count me as late, right? Um, well, this is dumb. Based on where you go, this is, yeah. Are all these people your family? Oh shit, I, I said the wrong one. Ah, I said the bottom one, didn't I? Are you trying to save them from? Who is behind all this? At Aurora's behest, Aurora is the great prophet and great warrior. Their face is shrouded, but their gaze pierces the veil of time and sees into the future. I always knew the governor's dogs were hiding the truth from us. And now the day has come. A prophet has come to Rykad Manoris and opened our eyes. The end of the world is coming, the final dawn. And only those who accept Aurora's truth will survive it. His mind and soul are pierced by shards of colorful deception. Hughes, once twisted by despair and the Immaterium's influence, can never be the same again. Pascal's voice hisses furiously. Layperson, cognition is not your primary function. You are saying your kin you are saving your kin by holding them at gunpoint and believing that burning their eyes will grant them sight. It is evident that the author of this demagogic teaching that confused you meant to make a mockery of your deplorable intellect. It is evident that the author of this demagogic teaching that confused you meant to make a mockery of your deplorable intellect. I couldn't let that one go. I couldn't let that one go. Yeah, give me one second here. There we go. Do, 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 do. Um, bam, okay, sorry. Anywho, Albert's face turns a deep red. You cast your own children into the thrall of heresy to drown your progeny in this filth with your own hands? I do love it. And this bitch comes in. <laughs> I can only imagine just how scary she is. In Like if you were to like meet her in IRL kind of deal. I remember when the Vasir used to, used to sew his eyes shut so that his young spinners would see the truth. Her voice sounds hollow, but there are glowing embers of fury in her eyes. Our ritual was one of service to him. It tempered and prepared us for our duty. What you are doing here, what you are working here is despicable heresy. Blasphemy. A blasphemous mockery of our sacred disciplines. Un momento, por favor.
Alrighty, boys. Sorry about that. Uh, the mechanic called. He'll be here in about four to five minutes. So, surviving an encounter with her would be something to remember. Yeah, I would. I would imagine so. Yes. Are all these people your family? All of my adopted and blood children are here. I raised them all as my own, and now I must protect them. Help them see. <laughs> what are you doing? I am the chief. My former name is Arlid. I think that's it. Ar Arlid. Arlid. Okay, there you go. Is meaningless now. I am a father leading his family to deliverance from the woes to salvation. Aurora has opened my eyes to the truth, and my children will see it. Oh my god, dude. Uh, can we do it? 100% on Pascal. Okay. Die, heretic? Wait, but Albert is an Iconoclast follower. That's interesting. Funnily enough, th this should be... I, my logic is high enough to do this too, by the way. My base, my main, my main stat is intelligence and willpower. Those are my two main stats. What the fuck is that? All right, you have been torturing your own family in order to save them. You have been blinding them so they could see the truth. Logic tests succeed. Those who lack faith cannot grasp the truth and will not be saved. The old man is obstinate, but you sense that his confidence in his voice is diminishing. Ooh, now I can whip out my persuasion. Ooh. Ooh, which one do we do? Oh, man, both of these are really good. Exploited by your naivete, but lore Imperium. This is the more like. Actually, I'm not sure this is, this this is actually like iconoclast rather than devout, right? Because he's been tainted by chaos. The only way he can be saved is by a bolt around to the face, right? I'm right on that. Okay, whoever that is has exploited your naivete. Can you see you are causing nothing but suffering? But all I wanted was to save. I... He drops his weapons and covers his face with his hands. You hear several short sobs. You were too late. Man, there is no washing the blood from your hands. But you could at least let us go. The ones you haven't mutilated. The old man gestures to the other insurgents who lower their weapons. Then he shifts his gaze to you to hold back tears. Dogmatic, your family will be taken care of. As for you, heretics only deserve death. The old man body falls to the ground. As soon as the hostages see it, they start moving faster and disappear around the bend. <laughs> All the, all, all the rest of them just walk away, just like, I had nothing to do with it. Nothing. No, I didn't do shit. Holy crap. Another ding. Wow. Wow. You level up. You do level up quite fast in this game. You don't take fucking forever like I do. the heretic. Kill the mutant. Purge the unclean. Based. <laughs> Based. Now what's funny is I could I could start doing some pyromancy. We could do that. Um but I need to be a psyker majoris. Can I get it? I need to be 14. Fuck. Okay. I got purge soul. I could get shield of the emperor. Increase their deflection and armor by 12. You notice what it doesn't say. It doesn't say it does anything to the veil. Why is it only one? Oh, psi rating divided by two. Okay. Huh. The reason I was thinking about pyromancy 
is because I could then use that pyromatic staff that I have. But it doesn't actually give me any, like, Psyker abilities yet. It's not like I'm not going to have the ability to get more, right? So the officer increases an ally's resolve by three until the end of combat. If the target is under the effect of voice of command, they will start their next turn with one additional action point. Uh, immediately recovers from burning, bleeding, toxic, and stunned effects. That's interesting. So the start of the officer's next turn, all melee attacks made by the target deal an additional damage equal to one multiplied by the number of enemies adjacent. If the target is under the effects of voices of command, they immediately make an attack of opportunity against an adjacent enemy targeting the one with the lowest remaining wounds. Holy sh... That's, that seems pretty good. Grants an ally an additional fellowship. Take aim. The target's next attack will ignore cover and will have double the effective distance. Whoa. Whoa. That's crazy. So I could give it to the to the robot guy. Huh. Why can't I get this one? 50 momentum, it can only be used by a sword made of sheared wheel. Ah, Terminus, okay. Need Hammer of the Emperor, Psyker Majoris, Light of the Emperor, Psyker Majoris. And I have to be, what, level 14 to get that? Well, like, I think I'm 12, so I need two more levels. Hmm. So I could either grab Shield of the Emperor for more deflection, or I could grab Pyromancy. All right, let me look at something real quick. So do I need... So, Psyker Staff, power level, each dealing two plus my Psy rating, which is one. Sixty percent chance to fly along the Citral Line. Creatures that are hit by two or more gain the Warp Burn. Hmm. Is that's the 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 real thing is is it actually worth it to start deviating on my psi powers already? Because my psi rating is still low. There's not much I can really do about that right now, right? Yeah. Let's let's raise the agility and Medicaid. Ah, let's do corrals. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do corrals. Because my contention is that word of the emperor seems pretty good. Willpower. But yeah, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Could do Grenadier. Flame weapon expert. She she does have a flamer. She does indeed. Um Where's the bolter thing? Heavy weapon. Would this work on a bolter? 
This is that. That's not a bolter, is it? That wouldn't work for that, would it? She already has bolter proficiency. Ten percent armor pin. That seems. That seems kind of. Kind of lax on that, doesn't it? Hmm. Flame. That seems pretty good. I do like the fact that she has a flamer. That is really, really good. What is this? Is that based on willpower? Oh, that's nice. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Doing my parts. Doing my part might be might be a good one. I'm really liking Shield of Faith. Let's do Shield of Faith. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, we could, yeah, we could do get back in the get back in the fight. Might be a good one. Become immobilized. Mend reality. Decreases veil degradation. Oh. All allies gain willpower bonus deflection against all warp... Oh my god, yes. Mend reality. Abso-fucking-lutely we're grabbing that. Absolutely. Jesus Christ. Uh, let's do... Hmm... I do want to give her something better. Uh, we'll do willpower. Because, I, I, like, everything else is just kind of like... Oh, no, 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 no. Let's do... Where's the... Is it, is it unnatural allure? No. Gain 10% armor. Resistance checks. Armor reduced. Perception. That's it. She heals every turn. Boom. Because I'd really like to try the pyromancy. I really would. It's going to be one of those deals, right? Precise attack. Intimidation. Tactical knowledge. Oh, all eyes get allies gain armor. Marcus cover efficiency is reduced. That seems pretty good. Yeah, let's do that one. And then I think he's wearing heavy armor, isn't he? Already? I'm going to do machine spirit protocols. Yeah, that seems really good, too. Bam. And crazy lady. What's crazy lady going to get? Uh, let's do agility. Absolutely. And then athletics. What's our awareness? 30, 40, 50. Yeah, let's do that one. Alrighty, boys, I need to take a quick break. I'll be right back. Stand by to stand by to stand by. We shall return right after this message from a brush. Stay tuned for more right here at the Tango Hotel. Um, all right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a quick save. And what does this staff give me? Five willpower. Gains Inferno. Gives ten willpower. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I am going to level up, and I'm going to do Pyromancy. Yep. And then we're going to grab... Um, I can't do Majoris until I'm level 14. I have a 25% chance to gain AP on Psychic Powers when Veil Degradation is 10% or lower. Psychic Resolve is increased. Subtle Manipulation. 
I got the one that reduced. Let's do enforced reality. There we go. Not trigger. That's probably a good one too. Right? Hymns of Hatred. Or critical chance. Backdraft. Whenever a psychic power is used to deal damage, random enemy within two cells of the initial target suffers half the damage. The damage does not trigger this talent again. Okay. Mm, until the end of combat, every time the psyker deals damage by any means. Burning blood, psyker uses all enemies. Adjacent to the psyker suffer four direct damage. That seems pretty good. All enemies adjacent to the psyker, okay. Melting armor. Every time an enemy suffers damage from the Psyker, the enemy's armor is reduced. Ten percent crit chance for all damage over time. Damn. Hmm. We could do training willpower. Gain five willpower. That would give me more damage. We already got calculated relations. I like enforced reality, dude. Basically anything that reduces veil degradation. Hmm. I think I'm going to do Sacred Rituals, actually. That seems really really powerful. Subtle Manipulations is another good one, too. Alright. So we did just quick save it. So let's get this bad boy. Wait, what? Why did my willpower not go up? Oh, that's why. There we go. So that should give me 65. There it is. All right. That's a heroic act. Desperate measure. Okay. So. We are bound by the blood of martyrs. is that sixteen cell cone dude that is righteous and we have ignite target suffers seven to twenty two damage and suffers warp burn effect Oh my. I think we're going to keep that. It means it's gonna, we're going to do less area of effect damage, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. All right, so let's grab these boys and let's roll. Uh, actually, let's. We were going this way, so let's just let's keep going. Destiny among the stars. All right, we got a trap. Burner was added or modified in a patch a few months back. The devs felt Saga was too weak in combat compared to the classes. Yeah, I mean, I can the I can I can I can kind of see that. Oh shit! 
What's this? Chainmail. Bolt pistol. And grenades. Um The Emperor sets my path. Pay attention. Ooh, Never, Never doubt me. Got goods down there, okay. Let's the down there as well. To glory. All right, doesn't look like there's too much down here. Dark contrast, all-purpose synth powder. <laughs> no matter what they make you do in the factories, right? Huh. Looks like a replica of the other map, just slightly altered. No complaints, just interesting. The Divine watches over us! I mean, it is one of those things that, it's like, I could totally kind of see that, because... In, like, Only War, it did feel like psychers were kind of... Gimped because of the, the nature of how psychic powers work in the 40k-verse. You know what I mean? This is where we came up, right? Yeah, yeah, this is where we came up. Because of their inherent danger. But it's, it's, it's cool because now I have several options when it comes to combat with what I can do rather than just buffing everybody else. Attention to detail is the key to success. And giving other people... Cast your eye there. Um, turns and shit. I better Which I'm fully on board with. My service. Damn! Look at all the traps. Duty prevails. Apparently nobody wanted us to come over here. I'm glad we came. There's a lot of The Emperor favors me. A lot of tarps. This is, I did a partial playthrough as a heretic psycher main, and they were okay, but not great. Yeah, I definitely want to be... I, I'm definitely doing the, like, straight-up... Um, what the fuck are they called? Puritan? Dogmatic? Yeah. Uh, presence, Soder mutters incoherently, does not react. Okay. All of those traps for that. That's not weird at all. Nope. I heard something pop up. Ah, good, it's okay. What this? The wearer, Lore Imperium, tests depend on fellowship instead of intelligence and gains plus three bonus. Uh, I don't know what that's gonna be. I guess the wife, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't think that's gonna be any good. I will say Uh what am I wearing? That grants three logic. Is he wearing anything on his face? Um if he's the logic bro, then we need to be doing this. And I will wear the helmet. There we go. Right? Yes. She's got hit crit chance, logic. She's got her crazy shit. Lore Imperium, Fellowship instead of Intelligence. Yeah, we don't need that. Uh, so far, I tended to bounce off game toward the end as the enemies start having absurd amounts of HP, making the fights really long. Apparently, this has been changed, though. Sins hidden in the heart turn all to decay. Fair enough. All right, so there's nothing down there, nothing up here. Lovely. We're just gonna keep on rolling. 
I'm one of those guys. I literally like it's just, just like a Baldur's Gate three. I literally went everywhere, dude. I you rubbed my face against everything in the end. game that I possibly could. I just I can't help it. I gotta have everything. Gets a bit dull. Most of your parties just doing the same thing every round, round after round. Yeah, I can I can see that. It's one of the reasons why I didn't turn the difficulty up. Not only that, the game recommended that I didn't, so I was just like, uh, okay, we'll just we'll just roll with that. Command center. Here we go. Because uh, there are very few games where the difficulty really does feel like it's balanced properly. Like Space Marine feels like the the difficulty is fairly well balanced, um, especially for the single player. There's a few parts where I thought maybe that wasn't the case, but you know, after beating it twice, uh, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Um, Go, boys. Talk to the governor. Uh, what? We are bound by the blood of martyrs. Okay. I was like, why is it like wavering and shit? Gloomy and stifling. Governor's bodyguard, tech like priest, fog. governor. The people here are drained, exhausted, bewildered. Go. Eat haze from the vents. The tall, dark-skinned man turns towards you and greets you in curt military manner. Phileas Rikard, Adminium af Kronos, governor of this star system. Welcome to my temporary headquarters. Um, the man's gaze falls on Albert, his eyes slightly narrow. Wesherin nods dryly. Governor, my greetings. His expression changes drastically when he sees Cassia. Lord Navigator, what an honor! I, I never thought House Orsalio would grace our world with a visit. I only wish I could receive you under different circumstances. Cassia purses her lips, and an echo of grief knocks the wind out of those present. House Orsalio is grateful for the support that you have provided to Yurik V these many years. Then the governor notices, notices Cabilia's clothes and his eyes go wide. He adds softly and cautiously, This woman, she is your bodyguard, I presume? Or is she here to... Uh... He stops, choosing not to finish his question. I am not seeing the convoy I sent to meet you. What happened? Did they, fa did they fail to find you and escort you? That is so, I promise you. Their punishment will be swift and severe. The convoy was ambushed and massacred. The only surviving soldier turned out to be a traitor and was personally executed by me. That's just an outrage! I will have the personnel vetting procedure changed immediately. The slightest suspicion will be grounds for arrest. <laughs> Your ladyship, before we proceed with discussing matters that are of interest to you, there is a question I feel compelled to ask. It was only recently that Lady Theodora was the head of the House of Von Valencius. I have received no word of her demise. How is it that you are now the rogue traitor? Um... My esteemed predecessor died at the hands of cultists. May the Emperor incinerate their souls. The governor frowns and a deep shadow falls over his face. Rogue traitor Von Valencia slain? Unthinkable. Please accept my deepest and most sincere condolences, your ladyship. Do not hesitate to let me know how I might be of help. Um. Well, I mean, I have high commerce, so I might as well just go ahead. I need fresh crew to replace those killed in the attack aboard my ship. And I need material compensation. Commerce succeeded. The governor bows his head in acceptance. Of course, your ladyship. You will be compensated for any losses. And I will see to it personally that your ship's hold are filled with the finest goods my personal, for my personal reserves. Profit gain two. Nods his approval and remarks quietly. Excellent, your ladyship. A rogue trader has no use for leniency. Oof. Oof. <laughs> oh, I, I do love the fact that you can play this game as if you're a noble. That is, that is just so awesome that they let you do that. 
I can offer you a several thousand fine obedient servants. However, I'm sad to inform you I won't be able to do it until we've dealt with the insurgency on the planet. I'm sure you won't have to wait long. The rabble will soon be duly punished for their heretical scheming. <sighs> and... Yeah, we're going to do this one because I've said I would. I wish to commend one the courage of one of your officers, Sergeant Malgar. He and his soldiers valiantly defend the starport and kept us from dying. The sergeant who managed to impress a person of such noble standing will be recommended for decoration. There you go. Um... Hmm. Yes, my kin, my kinsman, Conrad Voitveer von Valencius, has betrayed our dynasty and the Imperium. If he is hiding in this system, I want him handed over to me. Voitveer is a traitor? Indeed. Why, any family, however noble, has an unworthy scion or two. Naturally, we will surrender him should we find him within my jurisdiction. Unfortunately, I have no information regarding his location. However... I'm sorry, what? We have a cogitator here at the command center. It's connected to DataCrypt from Logist Albel Sanctum. A Ab Abels. A Abels? Abels. There you go. It aggregated the Lex Mechanica reports. Unfortunately, the access prayer for it is unknown to me. If you manage to convince the stubborn machine, you might learn something of Conrad's Kernrad's movements. I'd hazard he fled from, from you on a ship, not a pair of wings. And what about Henrix von Kallax, the interrogator for the Most Holy Inquisition? Do you know of his whereabouts? I do. Master Von Kallax has left for the hollowed electrodynamic syn synobium? There you go. Syn synobium. Yeah, no, synobium. It's an ancient monastery of the Adeptus Mechanicus. I don't know what his objectives are. Needless to say, insurgent activities have been observed in the monastery's vicinity. But I suppose that's too petty of a problem for an agent of his most holy inquisition. Besides, I have already sent a small detachment of reinforcements there. The weapon the insurgents were using to shoot down shuttles over the city has been destroyed. Now nothing is preventing you from returning to your ship. If you wish to find Master Von Kallax, you should go to the Cenobium of the Abductus Mechanicus. Mm, Pascal, notes of anxiety creep into the voice of and that rattles from Pascal's Vox. On behalf of the priesthood of Mars, I, Magus Hananium, am officially initiating my participation in this operation. I must inspect the state of the relic and assure myself that it is under zero risk of falling into heretic hands. I do love that. According to the catechism of maintenance of and operation, my tech comrades were supposed to lock the monastery gates against lay people and activate the traps. I deem it optimal that an ordained Magos should provide his assistance. Uh, I categorically object, the governor clenches his fist. As much as I respect the sanctity of your monastery, I have, my hands a, I have on my hands a whole capital that needs the attendant by the Omnissiah servants. We may have lost the eminent tech priests. Incidentally, one of them perished in that same monastery. Mechanical failures could occur at any moment. Putting it bluntly, you may you consider yourself forcibly recruited to the city's defense forces. <laughs> Mende and Pascal glare at each other, their unyielding gazes like crossed swords. Ooh. The Magos is part of my retinue. You have no right to give him orders. You mistake me for a fool. I know that he arrived separately from you, and I would bet my life that no... The governor's voice dies down in the low growl of a drilling mechadendrite. Its tip is directed straight at the bridge of his nose. Mende clears his throat and grumbles stubbornly. So this is the negotiation technique you have resorted to? Do you think this is the first time I've been threatened with a weapon? 
No, but this could be your last. Pascal's voice is akin to the sound produced by drilling implements, steady and calm, but ready to explode at a moment's notice, when the crunching of bone and the squelching of tearing flesh. I am heading to the monastery because I must. Is that clear? Ooh! 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 Abundantly so, Magos. Uh... It would be my pleasure to assist the Omnisaya servant in reaching the Sanctum. Thank you for your cooperation, your ladyship. This game, dude. Like, I cannot stop singing its praises, man. <clears throat> As compensation for your consideration of my request, I, Magos Hanium, officially undertake to accompany you in the Rykad system in the role of bodyguard, and to protect you at all costs until your life function ceases. But only within the limits of the Rykad system. Aww. Your Hanayim? Uh, glad you're alive. The governor raises his eyebrow and stares at the tech priest in surprise, but refrains from further commentary. Okay. Mm. What has perplexed you about my companion's name? He looks at Pascal with curiosity. According to the reports we received, Logos Abel... Hamanium set off for the hollowed electrodynamic synombium a short while before it was stormed. I'm glad to find out that you're safe. Perhaps you possess information on Master Von Kallox? My name is Pascal Hamanium, not Abel. I know nothing about such a person. Nice. Um... And where... And what do you know about this Abel, Governor? I've never met him in person. That seemed Logos supervised... That esteemed Logos supervised the work of Rykad Minoris Lex Mechanicus for many years. However, he rarely left his cyber chapel. And I never had the honor of making his acquaintance. A true... Anachorite. Uh, Anchorite, there you go. And why did he fly to the monastery? When the Logis of the Adeptus Mechanicus wants to go somewhere, we don't ask why, your ladyship. I see. Governor Medea, I intend to gather further information on the person calling himself Abel Hamanium. I do not exclude the possibility of it being an alias of my mentor, the Archmajos Aramon. M.R. M.R. Nat. I would have suggested that you inspect the esteemed Log Logos Sanctum, but it was destroyed by the rebels. We recovered several data crypts and connected them to the cogitators at the command post. They might provide you with some information. And are you confident you will crush this insurrection soon? My impression has been the exact opposite. Is that so? I'd like to hear your reasoning. Mm. The insurgents managed to steal a Voxcaster. They've been listening to your people's communication. Not much, but it's something. I will order an audit of our equipment to see that our communication channels are more closely monitored going forward. However, it was only the accidental success of otherwise disorganized mob of heretics who have no understanding of the art of war. Yep. The insurgents are using arch-enemy artifacts and enchanted lenses to perform unholy ceremonies. I've heard of such lenses. What makes you think they're enchanted? Any fool can light a fire with a magnifying glass. And they are headed by the prophet Aurora. And according to her followers, possesses magical powers. The rabble's usual superstitions, blah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, is a charlatan muttering some dog reel, which is dim followers think is magical spells. This does, of course, warrant the eventual burning in the furnace of penance. <laughs> but it does not point to there being anything special about the insurgency. And what about the final dawn and the impending demise of your world? Yet another superstition. Surely you do not expect me to believe it. You ought to leave your bunker more often, Governor. I have only recently arrived in the system, and I already know much more about the uprising than you. I know, right? It seems very lax when it comes to heresy, doesn't it? The governor's eyes darken, but your unwavering gaze makes him give in. All right, all right. Perhaps I've underestimated the mutiny, writing off them as rebel usual nonsense. 
However, if it does involve corruption and underground cult, this needs to be investigated. I'll assign additional resources and make it the issue and make and take the issue seriously. You have my word, your ladyship. Excuse me, motherfucker, where's my bow? Huh? That is all. <laughs> Alright, boys. Unfortunately, it's uh, about time for me to go. My dude bro hasn't arrived yet, but he will ever so soon and presently. So I am going to go ahead and take my leave. Uh, unfortunately, I wish we could have gone longer. I had hoped he might be late, but uh, unfortunately not. So on that, my note, on that note, my friends, we dinged again. And next time we will absolutely be leveling up once again when we rejoin. We'll be back tomorrow, same time, same channel, right here at the Tango Hotel. And tomorrow we're going to go for a nice, long, slow burn of heretical nonsense. So until then, my dudes, it's been a pleasure. It's been an honor. I'll see you then, boys. Peace out.